Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Skya! What's going on? That can't be good. Haven't I seen that place before? Episode 12, War of the Netherworld. Let's continue part on one. through Chapter 12. What do you mean, Part 1? History of the World, what Part 1? No. No. Felt like an earthquake. But they barely ever happen around here. Uh, but whenever there's one, something big always happens. Nah, that couldn't possibly <laughs> be true. I wonder what catastrophe will happen this time. The Prince! Several giant objects have appeared at the Stellar Graveyard, dude! How bad could it possibly be? That was be? quick. How many? Dude, there are billions of them! That's... You hear that, Jennifer? The EDF is here to save us! We can go home! Wait, Gordon. We can't be so uh, sure. Yeah, wh why Even would Even if it was the EDF, why would they send so many ships? Yeah. Uh, oh, come on. Why are you being so pessimistic? It's not like you. Yeah, I suppose it is a bit overkill. Well, why but then we again, that is what this guy is all about. I agree. Sitting here won't do any good. I suppose when you need it and don't have it, all sing right a different then, tune. To the stellar graveyard! Again? No. Now this is a separate part of it. So yeah, totally new battlefields this time around. But uh Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow, he uh has quite a temper. No wonder where Laharl gets it from. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. There's always giant robots. Well, let's take a look then. No, no, I'm not using them at all. Besides, I'm half human. But, uh, yeah, yeah, we've been pretty Gordon or er, Earth Defense Force focused for a while now. So now we're gonna focus more on the netherworld Prince, again. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Let's read another one of uh, Etna's diary entries. Well, I thought there was like a more significant period of time for that. No choice. Always remember to read your diary. Ah, well, well, uh, I don't know. Ever since episode nine, apparently. Well, even episode two with Flan there. Oh, part two, okay. The war part one will take place in the graveyard part two. Well, at least we don't have to worry about uh, moving them to a graveyard. But uh, now what I want to do is, well, I've already done this off screen, uh, go through the item world, through a couple items, just to level them up, get subdue some more arms masters. Not that you really have to, but well, I like doing it. So uh, let's see. Okay, so I did that for the moon orb. Double those. Oops. And also for the muscle victory there. So. Yeah, uh, my uh, Kengo could really use a lot of those Arms Masters. Uh, also, for this chapter and pretty much the remainder of the game, you want to have a bunch of Fairy Dusts in your inventory so that way you can cure any status ailment at any time. Someone was asking, H.C. Bailey, why don't you just learn Espoir for Flan there? Because it's basically the same thing. But, well, I figured why bother learning a spell when I could just buy items that can do the exact same thing. At least during the main storyline, so... I mean, if you want to, great, but, uh, me personally? Eh, I don't really care that much. Darth Vader, is that you? Soldiers of the EDF! I told you, Jennifer, just like I said! You could take off the helmet now. Hmm, I've never seen so many humans all at once. Your helmets are so big. 
So, what'd they come all the way here for? Aren't they here to rescue Mr. Gordon? Apparently so. Don't you think they're acting kind of strange, though? Um... <sighs> breathing all funny. What's wrong? Your beloved hero is right here! You just gonna breathe funny all day? Hey, guys! It's me, Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth! Not very popular, are you? Poor Mr. Gordon. <laughs> D don't be silly. I'm the Defender of Earth. All the kids love me. I had my own comic series and Saturday morning cartoon. And I make money off the royalties. But they don't seem all that impressed. Gordon, we've been used. Huh? What do you used? Mean what do you mean, Jennifer? They asked us to defeat the Overlord, but their true purpose was to secure a route to the Netherworld. What are you saying, Jennifer? They are risking their lives to save us. How could you accuse them of... But, Gordon, can't you see? What do you mean by that? Enough of this. I don't want to hear it. I'm shocked and disappointed in you. I hereby dismiss you from your duties as my assistant. Well, as the Defender of Earth, I can always just, you know, I pick see. up another hat, babe. I must have faith in the people of Earth. Unfaltering, unwavering faith. Even in the face of overwhelming it's my evidence. duty as Defender of Earth. Right, guys? Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. You are to be terminated. Nuts. What? Sucks to be you. All the kids love me, huh? Right. Poor Mr. Gordon. <laughs> Die. Hey, wait! What are you doing? Why do they want to kill him? Well, I wouldn't worry about it. So. I hope some of the other minions for the rest of the game have more emotion than they do. So, anyway, okay, so for this battle, see we got ally damage 20% there. Forgot to turn that back on after going through the item world. So, obviously, you don't want to step down into the uh, green geo panels below. I mean, you could, but it wouldn't be a good idea. Hmm. Let's see, what can I do? Hmm. Okay, well, you can come out this far. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Get up! Ha! Easy enough. Now, unfortunately, uh, these guys have... Well, they all have guns. So, and they can deal nasty status ailments with them. So, but fortunately they can't hit multiples of us at once. Guns really aren't good at that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send everyone to the right, except for my ninja there. Let the enemies come to me just as much as I can. Unfortunately, guns have a pretty good hit rate. So, uh, even my ninja might have a hard time dodging some of them. And you actually can counter, uh, uh, these guys' hits if you're in range, like, with your own gun. But, uh, well, I don't, uh, I don't really need that. Hmm, I wonder. Nope, can't do that. I'm trying to see if I could hit those guys somehow, but, uh... Or both of them at once. Um, oh, I know what I can do. Haha! -ha! That'll work. Here I come. You sure do like taking your enemies up into the air, don't you, Laurel? Or well, maybe not the enemies in the air, but you like going in the air yourself. Get up. Uh oh. Well, I guess I suppose that's good. Man, it's been a while since I've done a team attack. Hmm. Oh, right, you've already attacked. So, what can you do? Oh, yeah, one other thing about these guys is that they have very low magic resistance. So, flying is going to be really good in this episode. Against these guys. So, let's see. Let's take him out. 
don't even need to use my special abilities. Hmm. See, I think a good avalanche would work. Actually. Oh, yeah, I suppose I kind of have to do it that way. Okay, never mind. I was hoping to be able to send her to the back like that, but uh, no, no, that didn't work. But that wouldn't work. Uh oh. Uh, can Flan survive? Yeah, she'll be fine. Even if they gang up on her. Which, of course, they do. Yep, you're good. Well, unless they poison her. Okay, I guess I'm getting pretty lucky with the uh, uh, status ailments. Usually, uh, guns have really nasty ones, like, uh, well, it, most specifically, sleep. That one's really bad for us. Hmm. Oh, you can't attack that guy from that high up. I wonder what the height restrictions are on uh, attacking enemies. Hmm. Well, let's uh, give some work to fly on there. And go after the last guy in the back there. Let's see, can you uh, lure him out? Go up to about there, and just kind of tank the guy for me. Oh yeah, that's right. These guys, yeah, you see, you can counter them. Although I don't know why he got in range. I heard in future Disgaea games, guns deal more damage uh, the closer you are. But in this game, no, no, that's not the case. Can I hit him from up here? Yes, I can. All right, got him. Easy enough. Hmm. Why would the EDF attack me? Yeah, I mean, even knowing what I know about the plot, why Duh, do I care? They stabbed you in the or back. Why do they care? You're slow. Why? Why not just let them rejoin them? Beep, beep, blip, beep. Captain Gordon, incoming message. I mean, what, from just because General he's Carter? with the demons now? I mean, if they just made him an offer, hey, come back. Fanny pack. Ah, uh, Gordon. I see that you're still alive. I don't even know what a fanny pack is. What? Well, I mean, I know what it is, but I mean, I, I don't know what you do with one. <laughs> with your help securing a route, we were able to make it here unchallenged. So why not reward me for that? Now, the Netherworld will be ours. I thank you, defenders of Earth. <laughs> Maybe he figured that Gordon wouldn't want them to take over the Netherworld. Oh my god! We were being used! So they just decided to kill him outright before revealing that or something. Um, are you just realizing that now? Aren't you happy, Flan? There's someone even dumber than you! Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew of their plan all along. Liar! <laughs> Capital L, small I, small A, smell, small R. Period. Liar. Gordon, you are a splendid pawn. I will tell the people of Earth that Captain Gordon died valiantly while fighting the Overlord. Well, that's not entirely so untrue. Do for you. Well then, Gordon, so long. <laughs> He's got a good evil laugh. There are some promising humans out there. I was thinking the same thing. Should we try to recruit him? <laughs> well, that's what we do with everyone around? else. This is a serious matter. Okay, so we got a war going on her? here. She's probably hurt because you trusted them instead of her. Oh well, it's none of my business. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Didn't you dismiss her just a minute ago, Gordon? Oh, well, they're still your vassals, oh, Laharl. Poor Miss Jennifer. How will the EDF attack Jennifer, us next? Will they actually pose a threat? Nozzle. Or do they have jet nozzles it's on okay, their shoes? Gordon. Find out next time on Let's Play This Guy. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Jennifer. Have a good day. Thursday, not the one to blame. All Gordon's fault. Oh... I'm so sorry, Jennifer. <laughs>